Hello everyone, welcome to Try It, Learn It. Today I'm going to show you how to check if a word such as customer appears anywhere inside a department name using XLOOKUP and search in Excel. We have two tables. One table lists employees and the departments, and the second table lists the team members we want to check. We need to determine whether each team member belongs to a department that includes the word customer. The department name could contain customer at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. We need to find it anywhere within the text. The formula we will use in cell D2 is the following. Now let's break it down carefully. C2 refers to the team member's name we are checking. Excel looks for that name inside column A of the employee records sheet. If it finds the name, it returns the department from column B. If it does not find the name, it returns not found. Next, search checks inside the department text. It looks to see if the word customer appears anywhere, not just at the start. Search does not simply return true or false. If it finds the word, it returns a number. The number shows the position where customer starts inside the text. For example, if customer is the first word, search returns the number one. If it starts later, like after another word, search returns a higher number, like eight or 12, depending in the order the word exists in that cell. If customer is not found at all, Search returns an error. This is why we use isNumber. isNumber checks whether search gave us a number. If it did, that means customer was found. If not, it means it was not found. You can basically see it in the name, isNumber, and that's all that it's looking for. Finally, the if function wraps everything together. If isNumber is true, the formula returns yes. Now it's saying true because it found a number. If it's false, meaning it did not find a number, then it returns a no. Now let's apply the formula and look at the results. Here we have Sarah Adams department. Customer support returns a yes because customer is in the cell. Mia Carter department customer success returns a yes. You can see the rest of the results here. Before we finish, here are a few important reminders. First, check for extra spaces in names. XLOOKUP requires an exact match. So if there's a typo or if there's a space you didn't notice inside the word, then it's not going to find a match. It has to be exact. You can use the trim function to clean up names if needed. I'll probably create a short and attach it to this in the very near future on the trim function. Second, search is not case sensitive. It will find these variations of customer. Third, if you are working with large data sets, limit your lookup range. Instead of searching the entire columns of A and B, use a specific range like A2 through A1000. This will make your file run a little faster. Using XLOOKUP and search together makes it easy to find specific words inside larger text without building complicated formulas. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, subscribe to try it, learn it, and comment below if you have any suggestions for future videos. Thank you.